Hello, a lot of you probably don't know me unless you've seen me in the movies. I'm uh, Jason Salmon from jasonsalmon.com. I just thought I'd do a quick video and show you my uh, 5.4 camera. It's a uh, 5.4 Sinai Norm. It's a classic camera. They were first produced from uh, 1947 to 1970s. Um, this one's still going strong and I'm sure it's still going to go keep on going for many more years. Um, I, I even believe there's one in the Museum of Modern Art because they are classic cameras and um, I've actually adapted it for the modern age. I will, yeah. I've got a Canon 5D on there. I uh, got a lens plate and I've uh, then got a Canon ring, mounted that onto the lens ring and then uh, I can now mount any Canon camera I want onto this camera. So uh, it takes advantage of having tilt and shift. So it's like having a tilt and shift lens. But I have far more movement than uh, any other tilt and shift lens uh, you can buy for the Canon cameras. It does take a bit of time to set up, that's the only downside. But then the upside is that uh, I can end up with larger file sizes. So I do that by taking a shot and then I shift the back, take another shot and then I shift again, take another shot and then I can move it down or up or both, take a shot and repeat that process. And then that way I uh, can put those shots, I stitch them together in Photoshop and that way you get a far larger file and uh, far better quality. And it's one of those times when bigger is better. So um, how I take a shot, I'd sort of look through there. I would basically get it in focus and then on the front of these knobs there and there just finely tune it and yep that's a fantastic shot now of a white wall so uh, obviously you can't it's not worth using this camera on people but still life shots in the studio or a landscape or buildings anything that you which aren't moving around you know, the, you can take advantage of having the 5.4 camera with an SLR camera. Um, I'll quickly run through the movements, although this video isn't really about you know the movements and what they do. But I kind of like to think of the front is the focus, the back is about the shape. So uh, to, correct, to correct the converging lines on the building, you'd sort of can tilt that forwards and then you can tilt the front to change the focus plane and then you've got movements there side to side up and down and then tilt And uh, you can bind those movements together and uh, hopefully get a fantastic shot. And uh, I don't use this camera as much as I'd like to, but when I do, I know I'm going to get some fantastic shots. Uh, thanks for watching. So, um, you know, if any questions or any feedback, uh, drop me a line. Thank you.